what is going on guys, it's time to man one here, wow, welcome back to another video, it's been a while, so today I thought I'd do something a little bit different, um, as you can see by the video in the background, I'm actually um, designing and building a TARDIS interior um, on, on video, I haven't done it on video before, uh, I've, I've designed maybe uh, five TARDIS interiors so far, for Minecraft and on my uh, mine server. Uh, they are all public, but uh, as of right now you can't really access them, unless I happen to copy and paste them in. Um, so, basically this is how I, I am building it, and I'm, I'm going to kind of tell you the steps that I took. Um, so the, the first step that I did was uh, picked a colour palette and uh, design scheme as well as a shape for the interior. So as you can see I, I went for a kind of oceanic feel to it with the, with the prismarine blocks and the sea lanterns um, also, and, and the quartz as well. And I, I went for a sphere uh, kind of shape like a circle. It's not, it, it's not a sphere as you see later on in the video but it, it is a circle. So I'm building up the walls, I'm now placing in the lanterns. I'm doing it in the middle because I can't stand having it either side, it doesn't look right. And now we're moving that cross. That, the cross was to make sure that I had everything in line. Um, uh, you, you may have saw like a little flicker there. At that point I decided to install the um, Better Builders wand. Uh, so I could basically build it a lot quicker and it would not it would save me having to go around and round and round again like I did on the top part. Uh, what am I doing now? Oh, here we go. I'm, I'm now building the roof. Uh, I'll just stand the prismary as a, as a bit of a change uh, with the pallet on the walls. And then I fill it in with prismary bricks on the sides. And then I decided to put some lights in the corner of the roofs, like so. I bought the, uh, the prism bricks out one more. And then I decided instead of trying to do like a whole sphere, um, f uh, sphere spherical roof, I decided to try and make things a little bit different by building a um, pillar quartz square and then filled the gaps in with stone brick to give it that transition. Um, and added this sort of lip to make it not just like one solid piece, so it kind of links it all together. And cover over the back of it to make sure no light could go through, or I didn't have any lighting errors. And then I added um, the first, I think that's the first roof layer. I think there's uh, four, right, there's, so there's a corner piece. And then there is four, um, four lots of two sea lanterns, and then in the middle there's three, so it's even on both sides. Just going and filling that round, and then I create another lip, and then the roof itself at the minute is literally just, is what what you can see on the screen right now. And then I had to do this because I messed up the roof with the wand. You need to be careful with that wand. Um, as of right now, I'm not happy with this roof at the minute, I, wa I want to kind of make it a bit more detailed. But right now it's just, just a flat uh, quartz half slab. Right, so now I'm building the console. And I've, I've put it lower than the door. And I extend the glass down there. Okay, so now I'm building the stairs that lead down to a kind of balcony and then stairs that lead down to the, the platform of the console itself and I make sure everything is of equal lengths I put the glow, uh, the sea lanterns on the end just to make it a bit lighter and then I um, I use the I think that's uh, dark prismarine bricks and I make a, another circle that links them all round and I think 
later on I used the standard prismarine bricks there and I come out three blocks and, I, and that's two right now but I go around it again. Right now, ooh, what's going on? Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, hang on. There we go, okay, right, so now I'm, I am now, uh, I'm finishing off the dark prismarine and now making the ledge that goes around the, yeah, yeah there you go, that's, that's the third layer. And then I, yeah, then I put the normal prismarine around that edge. So it actually, it's actually five blocks. Okay, so now I want to try and make a kind of barrier with the stairs, but I did, I didn't like how it looked. So instead, I went uh, to using the sea lanterns and quartz half slabs to make this really kind of interesting design. So everything, it's it basically sea lanterns are connected to the floor, and then the slabs come off of the sea lanterns. Yeah, I broke the sea lantern there because that was a, just temporary. And you notice how instead of just placing every single pillar uh, sideways so it faces towards, I put the ones on the side upwards. Uh, I, I think that was a good choice because you don't you don't want too much to be the same. You know, here you can see I'm designing the floor of the the main console area using some sea lanterns and some prismarine and dark prismarine. As you can see, I then went around it with uh, court stairs, which gives it that kind of indent. And then around that, I literally that's uh, green glass or green stained glass. If you are, uh, if you Minecraft YouTubers or players want to get technical. So here, I, I wanted to put some uh, corridors on. I'll do that in the next video. Um, I won't do that in this video, just because of the, the time limit and that. So. I'm now finishing off the balcony, which uh, which then continues down into the area, and then I've put uh, these lanterns around the edge just to light up that that bottom area. And I, I don't know if if I should change this or not because I don't know if there's too much light and there's not enough detail, um, or there's too much detail and not enough light. Which this this is where I need your your guys' uh, opinion. Like, what do I do with this? Do I remove the sea lanterns and make it uh, a bit more detailed? Maybe put some stairs in there? Or do I just leave it as it is? And please, some, someone give me an idea for the railing around the edge, because I, I don't want to keep it as iron bars. The iron, the iron bars kind of break that, the oceanic feel. I suppose I can just cobblestone more. Right. So, now what I'm doing is I'm building a kind of support ledge because uh, later on I'm going to put water uh, and I'll make it flow sort of behind the stairs so I'm trying to figure out now where to put the rest of the stairs and fill the gaps in the bedrock and that's the final staircase that I build yeah there you go and I just uh, extend the, block, the blocks at the bottom so they're flush with the sea lanterns. I'll tell you what, that wand is a pain to use as well. Like uh, you saw it with the with the roof earlier. I um, I was trying to extend it uh, vertically and it went horizontally, so it duplicated everything that I'd already built, which was a bit of a pain to remove. But if you're a command genius, then. Uh, and again, I couldn't I couldn't figure out what to do for this, so I literally just I just put end rods, and I think that looks I think it looks good. Um, give me your guys' opinion on that. Okay, so now I'm continuing the support bed. Duplicate it up one on each side, and then build the uh, the final ledge. And there you go. Again, it's duplicated the entire thing up with one. That's my fault for trying to speed things up. Uh, 
Okay, so now I'm going to place down every every uh, water source block that I need around the edge, so it all flows into the center. Well, not the center, but the the lower platform. And there's that's how it looks right now. Okay. And now I'm going around the edge to stop any water droplets to, to stop lag from particle effects. Now I'm making a little fountain on each corner. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. Uh, I've uh, put a shade pack on to make to make all the lights nice and vibrant and make the water kind of see-through like it would be in 1.13, which I will be doing videos on. Um, you can, you really can kind of see that oceanic feel to it, and it's. I quite, I quite like this interior. I think this is one, of, one of my favourite interiors that I've built so far, and this isn't all of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna build extra corridors, extra rooms. Um, another thing that I added was the, uh, that there's console, the extra consoles around the edge, like on, um, like the series seven. B TARDIS, uh, Matt Smith's TARDIS, uh, and I've put, I've put all the controls on, and like, uh, levers, redstone dust, repeaters, comparators, etc. And I, th I think the uh, the water down there actually make it make it really sets it off um, in that area at least. I, th I, th I think the uh, the main thing that sets it off is the water that's around the edge because it, it gives it a bit more. Of a different feeling. Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, this is where this video ends. I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed it.